Hey guys, what's going on? It is your friend Keith, and I am here live again in the control room at the one and only world famous Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in South End on Sea, England, baby. I've got uh, a new brand to share with you guys. Maybe not new for you, but it's new for me. It's the first one I've ever owned. It is a D'Angelico. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So, if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, smash subscribe, come join our circle of friends. We're at, we just hit 9,100 today. We're in the home stretch. Another 900, we'll hit 10,000. And we get some really cool perks at YouTube's headquarters in London when we hit 10,000 subscribers. So please keep telling your friends and family. Really appreciate all the support. Yeah. All right. So, this thing is awesome. I picked it up along with a very special Koa Taylor guitar that uh, I just shared on YouTube. This is a mint, unplayed, D'Angelico 175 Deluxe in a matte cherry red finish. It's a satin matte finish. There's no glossy clear coat on it. The, uh, the specs on this are incredible. The look of it is incredible. And when I saw it, I had to buy it. I made a very long four-hour round trip to go get the tailor. And this was kind of a nice little surprise lurking there for me. Look at these beautiful mother of pearl inlays. I'm just altering the light so you can see them better. It's kind of hard to, to see with uh, this giant spotlight above. And there's also a really cool uh, mother of pearl deluxe logo here and here. Yes, with kind of like a mirror empire state building type truss rod cover. Everything about this guitar is kind of over the top in the looks department in all of the best ways. You've got Grover Imperial tuners. Those tuners are found on only the most expensive, best of the best Gibson custom shop guitars, by the way. You've got even this little guy up here, which... Um, I'm not even sure what that is. It looks like something that you'd find on like a very expensive bed. <laughs> I don't know. Everything on this just looks super expensive, super premium, very rich. You get all this gold that pops. You have the tortoise shell, uh, pick guard. Very rich, very luxurious. You know, you don't get real mother of pearl on a lot of guitars these days. Even on Gibson Les Paul standards, you don't get mother of pearl. You get mother of toilet seat. Plastic, cheap stuff, you know, uh, ebony fretboards you don't really see on um, anything that's made outside of the United States. And with this brand, giving you a little history lesson, this brand came out in the 30s in Manhattan, in New York, which is why on the logo it says New York. It's built in Little Italy by, um, by a guy who started off like many guitar makers during this era around the world started off making violins and mandolins for his great uncle for a family member decided you know what that ain't cool enough for me i want to do my own thing his great uncle died left him the company and uh the company had 15 employees he wanted a much smaller more intimate uh operation where he could build what he wanted to build and he became the preeminent arch top guitar manufacturer in the world he was number one. How wild is that? Uh, all my family, by the way, a little trivia for all you friends and fans out there on YouTube and the internet. Uh, all my family, going back uh, one to two generations, depending on which side, is from New York, from Long Island. Um, my grandparents, my mother's parents had a really nice apartment in Manhattan. My grandfather was a, a doctor, a urologist. And uh, had a great apartment there long before I was alive. And uh, yeah, my um, on my dad's side, they're Irish and Italian. And they, they came over to build New York cities into the modern city it, it is today. They came over in the early 1900s. Yeah. So uh, I'm sure a lot of viewers on this channel, especially in America, have similar immigrant stories. It seems like... Um, you know, everyone from Europe made it over there to Ellis Island at some point, and and now we're all over the place. And now I'm now I'm back on this island that my grandfather came from. How funny is that? But back to this guitar. So yes, this brand, uh, Mister 
D'Angelico, unfortunately, had lots of heart attacks, as lots of us uh, American New Yorkers that love to eat grandma's meatballs suffer from. Yeah, he had lots of heart attacks. Not one, not two, a series of them. And he died. I think it was 1959 he died. And uh, his employee took over the company, I think bought the company, but somehow I think lost the trademark, was what I was reading from on on uh, Wikipedia. He lost the right to build the name. So he had the company, but couldn't build the name and the models and all the protected intellectual property. Whoever had that, it ended up being owned by an Arizona drinks company, of all things, uh, to someone who I think was another uh, maybe Italian immigrant family background. And then three guys decided to buy the brand and start making these again. And they're made like a lot of the new premium guitar brands that are emerging uh, on the international scene in the past 20 years. They're made in Korea. The best ones are. They also make them in Indonesia and China. But the very best ones are made in Korea, with the exception of a few that are hand-built in New York still, I, I guess to keep the, uh, the brand... Uh, and the heritage alive, those are astronomical money that I don't think you could get one if you wanted one uh, with how few they put out. But this is the finest that they make for regular old folks like you and me. And they come with USA TV Jones pickups, Gold Bigsby. Uh, this 175 Deluxe is not a, a common model. And my understanding is they do these in limited runs of... 50 in different colors that's what i've seen everywhere so i think they've got three different ones out right now that has a slightly different uh tailpiece they don't have one in red i think they've got one in green and they, they do them in limited editions of 50 pieces that's it uh i'm not sure for this particular one if that was the case but everything i've read online says it is and if you look here you can see this was built in 2017 and it looks like it was number 25 off the run. It's a lucky number. The knobs, everything feels very premium, very nice. The pots, the knobs, all good. Um, there's really good resonance and sustain to this thing. Um, you know, it, it just, it's, it's a killer instrument. And if you're a lover of Gretsch's, you know, I would say get one of these bad boys for yourself because they, I think they look even cooler. And another thing is, is that they, they really stand out. I'm loving this headstock. This thing is massive and beautiful. If it didn't have this bright, shiny light on it, it would really look a bit better. There you go. You can really see that kind of mother of pearl net logo pop. Let's get it out of its case so we can show you the rest of this beast. All right. So on the back here, you can see, again, this cherry really pops. And I, I'm a big fan of satin and matte finishes. And this doesn't, I mean, it's, it's new, unplayed condition, but it doesn't look like some of those satin and matte finishes where, like, if you touch them, it permanently leaves your fingerprints. Like, I'm touching them here. Um, some of those that can be quite irritating, or if, you know, if you get your sweaty arm rubbing on it, all of a sudden it gets super glossy. I have a feeling that this isn't that. You've got binding all the way around. Looks quite lovely. Um, I can't remember which factory begins with W, but Korea has a couple. I think there's Unsong, there's the U and the W, and I think those are the two main guitar factories in the country that build pretty much all of the best uh, import, as we see in America, guitars in the world for all of the brands. And some brands are exclusively built out of these factories. And we're getting to the point now where $2,000, $3,000 for a guitar coming from Korea is a very common thing. The quality is there. And American prices just keep shooting up and up and up and up. I love the locking Imperial tuners. And they're very fitting with this kind of uh, 
Art Deco look to them because it's an Art Deco brand from the 30s and kind of matches the design of the truss rod cover, just the design of everything. Stunning, stunning guitar, folks. Definitely a statement piece. You play this on stage and you look like a million dollars. There's no doubt about that. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to get this up for sale on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. There's the spelling. It will also go on Reverb.com. Again, this particular model, the Deluxe 175, is very uncommon. They make them in very small batches. And if you want one of a certain color, you got to get it while it's hot. Because once they're out, that's it. It's done. 50 pieces worldwide. Um, I don't believe they do them in anything other than a limited edition. I can't find any evidence of like a normal 175 deluxe on their website. It's only limited edition. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. And red, I mean, come on. Red is the color to have. You don't want green. No way. <laughs> Even the, uh, up here, it's all kind of satin and matte. It's really, really nice. Very classy. That's what it calls it. Classy, classy guitar. All right, guys. If you want it, it's yours. Just go to the website and buy it. Check out. Our website's powered by Shopify. We can ship to any country in the world. You can also go on Reverb.com. It's listed there. Uh, if you're in America, I suggest you buy it from uh, our website, rather than Reverb, because on Reverb, you'll have to pay an online sales tax. It's just for buyers in America that live in it's a little over half the states charge an online sales tax if you buy from eBay, Amazon, Reverb, any what they call like a large online marketplace. But if you buy from an independent online shop, like my EssexRecordingStudios.com, then you don't have to do that. A little life hack, a little money saver for you. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to go put this back and uh, if you want to record with it, you could be the very first person to ever play with it here in the studio. Just book some time. But I have some. I have a feeling that this is going to uh, sell pretty instantly. Comes with a hang tag for Diodario there. I just saw that. I didn't know this. Ha! Huh, even strings are made in New York. Did not know that. Way, way cool. All right, guys. More guitar action coming up next. I've got... Uh, a Les Paul Les Plus to share with y'all. They only made them for one year. They're very interesting guitars with lots of special features. So stay tuned. I'll catch y'all later. Follow us on all the socials at Essex Recording Studios. That's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. And thank you so much for subscribing. We're going to hit 10,000 subscribers very quickly. And it will be life changing for us. I'll see you all later.